Hey everyone, my name is Brayden coming to you with an exclusive breaking Disney news update as we have just received the first ride footage of the Slinky Dog Dash, the headliner attraction in Toy Story Land, opening this summer. This video was sent to us by an anonymous source from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, where Disney is currently testing the brand new coaster after park hours under the guise of darkness. Enough talking about it, enjoy the footage, here we go. So there you have it, the Slinky Dog Dash Coaster. We've seen the track completed, the first ride vehicle arrive, and now we have footage of the first ride vehicle being tested on the track itself. A bunch of things of notes taking a look at this footage. First of all, the reason this is nighttime footage is because Disney has been running the coaster in the dark after park closing, making sure everything is running smoothly before guests start to see testing during daytime hours. Right now, by the looks of it, Disney isn't doing any official weight testing yet, where they fill the seats with containers of water or sand to simulate people. Right now, it more looks like they're just testing the vehicle itself and making sure that's running smoothly, rather than the ride safety stuff we should see done a little closer to the opening. As the project has progressed, we've heard a lot of talk about the ride having some sort of slinky effect with the ride vehicle itself. I don't know about you, but I don't see much of that going on in the footage we've obtained. I think what Imagineering is talking about is the ride track. As you can see after the turn, you have those hills in the story of this attraction. This track was assembled by Andy in his backyard, so you have all sorts of unexpected twists and turns with different pieces of track uh, that he's working with, sort of assembling all those into this one awesome attraction. There was a lot of hype leading up to the swaying of the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train vehicles, and as a result, the development of that, it pushed the whole ride uh, back, that whole new ride system, it pushed the opening of the ride back a whole year after the rest of New Fantasyland, and I think it also took away some work that could have gone into other elements of the attraction to make those better, so even if there is isn't that slinky effect between each ride car with this coaster, like some people are anticipating, I'm not sure that's really a bad thing. It means that more time, effort, and work can go into other things, like our source for this footage telling us that Slinky's tail on the, that back ride vehicle there actually moves, which sounds like an awesome detail. One thing's for sure, this is a major new coaster for Walt Disney World. Seeing it fly up that hill, coming into the shot, and whipping around the turn, this coaster looks like it's going to have some serious duration to it, unlike the 7 mine train and it also looks to have some serious thrill while still being a family-friendly coaster in this Toy Story land. Looking at the latest aerials of the land, we are in store for one amazing land thematically with the theming coming together all around the land and the coaster itself all accompanying that awesome slinky dog ride vehicle we finally have our first footage of in action. Let me know what you think about this brand new leaked footage of the slinky dog dash coaster. Hopefully Disney will get to testing the ride in the daylight soon so we can get more of an idea as to how the ride will unfold. We talk about the possible opening timeframes and construction progress for Toy Story Land on our What's Coming to Walt Disney World in 2018 video. Be sure to check that out. If you'd like to be notified when we drop new Disney news updates, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. This is Brayden. Have a magical day.